What up, everybody? Welcome. Uh, so this channel's for creating passive income in various ways on various platforms and blockchains, uh, centralized, decentralized, whatever, affiliate marketing. So if that's your gig, if that's, you know, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the likes, guys. That brings more people to my channel. Thank you. All right, so I... I keep breaking down and putting money from elsewhere into this uh, MM Finance MMO Optimizer thing. So if you're new here, I have videos in my channel about setting up the DeFi wallet. And uh, the Crypto.com is different. There's uh, supposed to be a way in the DeFi wallet or the Crypto.com app to uh, connect them together. But I can't seem to get it done. And every time I talk to crypto.com support, they take forever. They're slow. So I just send it manually. Um, I'll show you how I do that. So this is going to be the first time I sent um, crypto CRO tokens from the DeFi wallet to the uh, to the crypto.com account. This is going to be the first time. So I'm just going to, I have to, I have to go and um, into MM Optimizer. And these pools I'm staked in, I'm going to claim my rewards. One last time, I'm going to claim my rewards. And it's a kick in the ass every time because um, I miss out on the steady compounding if I withdraw every day. So the longer you leave it just there in this yield aggregator, the, the more money you get. So I'm going to go to DAPS and go to Kronos DAPS. Here's all the Chrono Staffs. I, I want to check out a whole bunch of these later on as I get going. So I'm in MM Finance. MM Finance took the number one spot in total value lock. It's uh, VVS is boring. Boring compared to this. This is the one. And this. All right. I'll still use VVS because it has auto staking where you just set and forget. And it just compounds but at like 60%, which is great. But... I'm actually getting like 5,000, 4,000% in, in MM Optimizer. Two of these pools, these brand new pools that came out, I staked them. Oh, you have to connect wallet here. The, the Mad Meerkat Optimizer is kind of slower at loading. Um, the whole blockchain just a few days ago was just clogged i couldn't get any transactions through on vvs finance or or this or mad meerkat it was like eh, eh. so if you guys if anybody uses this remember this is not financial advice this video is for entertainment <laughs> okay so here's my stake so i'm an mmo optimizer um here's my stakes um, I just claimed these yesterday and I've already earned like $60 or something. So I'm going to go, I have like, I think I have $1,400 staked all together. I can unstake my, I can unstake my stake at any time. I just won't get any more rewards that it pay out live. That's all. So I'm going to click this, um, this one. I recently put more money into this. Uh, so this was at 617 so the value of the lp pools go up and down it went down really harsh at first but that's okay because as long as i leave them staked there it will continue to pump out profit anytime any person comes in there and trades these two tokens i get a percentage of the fees right here 43 dollars in one day it's not hey i just i just barely reset this a day ago and then i added and then I added more last night. So I'm going to claim that. Claim these LP tokens at maximum. Wait, hold on, reject. Oh no, I did the right thing. So this down here is if you want to stake more, but I don't have any more. I don't have any more. So I'm going to hit claim. It's going to charge me a network fee. Also, if you're doing this, you need to always have CRO balance to pay your fees. And uh, this isn't very cheap. I mean, that's like... Three dollars, three three dollars twenty five cents or something like that for this to unstake this. So you gotta watch out for them fees; they add up. So 
So this pool, I'm getting... This was at like 4,000 something percent earlier. It goes up and down wildly. If I leave it staked for a year, it it doesn't even say how much because it's probably astronomical, but it's greater than 100,000 percent. And if I claim it daily, I could claim it out daily and still get um, 3,000 percent right now. All right, so I claimed that. You see how fast my rewards started growing there I just barely claimed it and it popped in seven cents again already like I'm earning a lot of money here and it it's probably because it's new it's new blockchain it's uh, probably right, getting to the right time uh, and these dexes have all, all these strategies are coming out with like if if the yields start lowering down because people are joining in more and more people are coming then then they'll they will list some new liquidity pairs some new token that launched and jump into that and um DeFi chain is doing it too it's another decentralized application on on, on DeFi chain network anytime anytime this the percentages of apr start getting low they release more tokenized stocks and then it all goes it all spreads out and people start getting paid more so they kind of control, if it's a good ecosystem, they'll, they'll control it to where the prices are, are there, there's always going to be something good. All right, I'm going to go back. MMO Optimizer is the stuff. Okay, so here's the other pool. It's SPES instead of PES. And I have uh, some funds in there too. About $20. I'm getting 2000 185% APR. If I leave it all year, it's well over 100%, 100,000% annual percentage yield. And that's uh, 100,000%. That's a thousand times your money. So do the math and put it, you know, if I put a thousand in here and it was, at, it says over 100,000. So let's just say 100,000. Um, yeah, I mean, so what, $1,000 would be a million dollars after a year. But these rates are going to go down and down, uh, so it's it's not it's not permanent. These rates go up and down everywhere. It's Nothing's permanent in here, except for, except for, the only thing that's permanent is that if anybody trades this coin for that coin, I own a percentage of the pool. And I get this profit because I own a percentage of the pool. So I'm going to claim that. This Kronos blockchain's transactions was rejected me, rejected me like a lot. And it's finally starting to work more smoothly. If you don't know, this is Crypto.com's blockchain we're, we're on through the Crypto.com app. So, um, Crypto.com's had their CRO token since way back in 2017, and I don't see it going anywhere but upward because of this high utility they have on their own blockchain all of a sudden. So I'm all in on the CRO. Okay, we, we claim that. And... I guess I'll claim this one too. No. $8. Yeah, all right, whatever. No. It'll charge me like $3 to claim it. I'm going to reset them all right now and we'll do the experiment. It's 7.20 p.m. on... It's 7.20 p.m. Thursday, April 7th. I'm going to do a 24-hour exactly video tomorrow night and see how much these pools have accumulated after I drained them out because I'm making about $70 a day and I only have about thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars staked which I can redeem at any time um, but I won't earn the rewards if I unstake them and uh, honestly this these these tokens are going up they're going nowhere but up it's like a straight up shot as far as I can see in the graphs Anything could happen, not financial advice. So we claimed all three, right? It's going to be a pain in the... So I have to go back. Oh, yeah, this is a shortcut, too, to the menu, so I don't have to go back. You just go to swap. It takes you back 
to Mad Meerkat's finance, which is the decentralized exchange. MMO optimizer is not an exchange; it's a it's a yield aggregator, meaning they they uh, a smart contract takes your capital and pushes it through whichever route makes the most percentage, and it's automated algorithm. So that's pretty badass. Okay, now that I'm here, um, I I need to remove liquidity. So I have I have all these pool tokens I claimed. Um, go to trade and liquidity, and it'll show my liquidity tokens that I just unstaked. There they are. So I'm gonna hit one and hit remove. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna un untether all these tokens because they're tethered together as an LP token. I'm gonna untether them and then uh, trade them all for CRO tokens, which is Crypto.com's token. Um, the gold standard. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah, I gotta hit maximum. So I'm gonna un unstake all these tokens and it's charging me network fees. A little bit. Hit remove. Confirm. And I, I'm running low on CRO. You see it charges me some every time. So, so when I'm done with this transaction, when I'm done with all this, I'm gonna leave like 40 extra CRO or something in my wallet. And then send the rest to crypto.com centralized app or account. It's like, this is DeFi and I gotta send it over to the address over there. So I can, I would just, I wanna just send it to Coinbase, but I don't have enough Ethereum to send the ERO token. So I'm just gonna send it through, uh, send it to crypto.com. And then from there, I can send ERC20 uh, CRO to Coinbase where I can cash out to my card. Did it remove or what? Come on. Okay, that one's removed. So I'm gonna remove this one now. Remove. Maximum. Uh, uh, maximum. Enable. Remove. Confirm. Pay the gas fee. Confirm. Close. Now I have to remove liquidity from one more. Remove liquidity from here. Remove 100% enable. Remove. Confirm. Pay the gas. Now, now all these are single tokens in my wallet now instead of the tethered uh, LP tokens. Um, because you can't just sell an LP token. You have to, to you have to re re take it apart and then have individual tokens. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go to trade uh, here in the bottom there, and uh, um, I'm going to hit exchange now instead of liquidity, and I'm going to select from, show my top balances on the top, wait a minute, there they are, okay, so it shows up in my wallet now, so I'm going to start trading these to CRO one by one, I'm going to hit the maximum, So CRO, and then afterwards, I'll I'll show you how much money that's worth, how much money I made in under 24 hours from this MMO optimizer. <clears throat> Confirm swap. Now I'm gonna go move on to METF. Hit maximum. 
and I'm gonna hit swap. Confirm, pay the gas. Now, I'm, now I don't have to worry about running out of CRO because I'm switching into CRO. But when you're working with other tokens beside and not CRO, uh, it's drawing the fees out of there. So you always want to keep keep in mind how much balance you got. There it goes. Wait, did it? Sometimes the transaction reverts. Oh no, it went through. Okay, there it goes. If it doesn't go through, just repeat it and repeat it. I. There was a day where I actually had to do it like 40 times because the blockchain was clogged with people. All right, here we go. So I'm going to um, select uh, the next token. Uh, SPS, maximum, sell it, trade it to CRO, swap. These fees aren't very cheap, so I sh I shouldn't be I shouldn't even be claiming until I have a lot. And actually, after this claim, I just wanted to reset all the all those pools and see which one's performing best, and reset them at the same time, so I can have a better idea what's what's making more money um, when I check into it later. Okay, now I have one more token from these L. No, I have a couple more from these LP pools. So the PES, switch that to CRO. Confirm. Pay the gas. Then we go back to the, the exchange. Select the next token, M share. Maximum. Is that it? Oh, wait. See, you got to watch out for that. So that one reverted probably because of the slippage tolerance. Uh, so I'll have to go back to that one. Um, PS. Maximum. Swap. Wait, no. Oh, that's the wrong coin. I want to switch that to um, CRO. Swap. <clears throat> kind of a long movie here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's working better than it was the other day. This is working way smoothly now where I'm getting my work done faster um so i'm gonna go back to my balance my uh i think that was it there's only a, there's only just a couple dollars on on right here there's only a couple dollars in there i'm a, i think i'm gonna check no <laughs> wait never mind that's a lot no wait no so yeah it's a, just a couple dollars i'll go ahead and swap it out too hell so now all those lp pool tokens that i that i just claimed from my stakes i didn't remove any of my stake i, I only claimed the rewards and now i've converted all my rewards into cro of crypto.com token and now i can get out of this dap as soon as this one just goes through there it goes okay so i can i can get out of here now i'm gonna go back to my wallet wait i want to see how much that was first so 172 CRO. So here's how we're gonna figure out how much that was. I'm gonna select uh, CRO on the top. I'm not gonna follow with the, with the transaction. I'm just gonna see how much it is worth in USD. 172.59 at maximum. And then I'll select uh, USD, USD coin or whatever, USDC, USD tether. So I earned seventy six dollars passive income, folks, in uh, seventy six dollars passive, pretty much seventy seven, seventy six nine eight. 
let's say seventy-seven dollars, and uh, seventy-seven dollars a day is uh, good enough for me. I mean, that's it, it, cranking it out. I, you know, what is that a month? I don't know, twenty-one hundred dollars a month or something, or what? Anyway, now that I'm out of that, and now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go to uh, the wallet. Uh, get out of this decentralized browser, decentralized app browser, and go back to my wallet page. And uh, it takes a minute to refresh sometimes. There it goes. Okay, so actually, I'm going to go to my crypto.com centralized wallet, the different one. This is the one you got. This is the one you have to verify your ID. It's it has it's um, has regulations and laws and this. This one's the Wild West. Uh, that no identity. You hold your private keys. Uh, no one can get your stuff if they don't get those private keys and all that, all that goodness. Peer-to-peer uh, -peer decentralized banking. Uh, but we're going back to the the mainstream one. And we're gonna get our address. I'm gonna get my address from there. And like I said, I had a problem connecting. You're supposed to be able just to connect these together, and it doesn't work. Um, and it doesn't work for other people I talk to, so that sucks. Oh, yeah. Crypto.com mainstream is slow like molasses a little bit. It's kind of annoying. Coinbase is kind of getting that way, too, a little bit, but their transactions are always fast. You know, I'm going to close it and open again. I can't stand that. So here's the here's the mainstream uh, centralized uh, version of crypto.com, not the DeFi wallet. So I'm gonna click Kronos, and I'm gonna um, whoops. <coughs> and I'm gonna click this CRO wallet down here above by CRO, and that's how I get into my wallets and transactions and addresses and that. Just click that field. Now I'm going to click uh, transfer, and then I'm going to click deposit. Um, so here it selects, it says select chain. If you're sending from somewhere like an exchange or Coinbase, you you would select ERC20. I don't know about crypto.org chain or its use really, but um, we have to select Kronos chain because the DeFi wallet app, I've already... I've, I've already have Kronos chain uh, tokens over there. So you want to make sure that you have the correct address. So you can select them like that. I'm going to click Kronos. Then I'm going to copy that address. And then I'm going to go back. To my DeFi wallet. click send and we send Kronos and it, this has the same three choices Kronos, Ethereum or Crypto.org so we were on Kronos so that's what I want and I'll paste this address from clipboard sure and then click next now I can't send it all because I need some left over for transactions so We'll say 150 CRO. No, 140. That's fine. Sixty-two dollars. So I made like seventy. What was it? Seventy-seven dollars in less than a day. Uh, yield farming, liquidity mining on Kronos blockchain. It's, it's hella, hella tight. <laughs> and I'm gonna send it. 
This is for all them people that are like, oh, I need to cash it out. You just cash it out. I mean, how hard is it? All right. Anyway, that's it, because this, it'll take a while. Um, uh, it'll take a while, the transaction. But I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm sending it to, to uh, crypto.com. And then from crypto.com, I'm, it, it has those three addresses. I don't have any bank accounts and stuff linked to crypto.com yet. So so my Kronos on, on, on crypto.com, I'm going to withdraw on the ERC20 network. And I'm going to go to... to um, I'm gonna go to Coinbase, get my ERC20 uh, address for the for the Crypto.com token, and then come back to the Crypto.com account, and I'm gonna send it via ERC20 to to my Coinbase, where I can cash out instantly to any debit card I have. So that's how it works. If any of you guys are new, if you like this stuff, uh, subscribe, and I'll I'll do a better job of like more like a complete guide, like from 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 beginning to end. Uh, I'll try to do them better and do them more often. Thank thanks for watching.